so this is a video on how to create flash loans but this will be done in testnet okay so you won't be doing in mainnet this is just to test the flash loans if it works or not you'll be doing it in testnet in upcoming video i'll be showing you how to do it on mainnet obviously you noobs are searching for how to do flash loan smart contracts right so let's see if you all can do it or not this is just simple copy and paste you just have to do it just copy and paste it at the right file at the right smart contract you will be able to execute it but if it works on mainnet or not we'll check it in upcoming video till then let's start with the flash loan smart contract copy pasting it's very easy see i have done it through one website it's called alchemy.com so what you have to do is just go to ethereum id you have to open this remix id this is where many flash loan contracts are created and obviously ethereum dApps are created this is from where we'll be copying pasting the codes and this is ave so we'll be supplying and borrowing the money the flash loan from ave and then we are going to use flash loans from ave the codes will be from ave and we'll be executing the smart contract using ave so you can see your borrow supply so let's get started go to ethereum ide then what you have to do is just click on create create a new workspace obviously and then name it say doing ave flash loan okay so after doing let's just leave it and then just okay that's it doing ave flash loan and then what you have to do is you have to create contracts right so just click on new file and you have to keep creating contracts for example first one will be a flash loan dot soul so this all smart contracts these are blank right now you have, you will have to copy paste it according to the given smart contract codes so for flash loan soul you will be copy pasting these codes so let's create the smart contracts first for each respective coding flash loan contracts okay copy it directly just so you just have to go to contracts and new file you have to keep creating new file if you can execute this you'll be able to do it in mainnet too so this is for all of the beginners practice it after all practice makes a man perfect do this skill and keep on doing it new file just keep on copy pasting it exactly because the names matter if the names does not match flash loan won't be executed as the smart contracts are very very case sensitive it's very easy just copy paste it and then see it copy paste then new smart contract withdrawable and see here withdrawable is the last one this is where all the arbitrage will be completed borrowing will be submitted and you will be getting your own arbitrage remember the fees are very high so you will have to have some capital so that you can actually execute those smart contracts or else it won't work now what you have to do is flash loan dot soul copy paste it it's straight just copy paste it no previous program experience required if you know it's better obviously copy paste that's it and for flash loan receiver of course do it from flash loan receiver dot soul receiver base dot soul copy and paste it flash loan receiver dot soul that was for the last loan receiver base now receiver dot soul copy and paste it i'm following the steps from alchemy dot pay okay alchemy dot com not pay so 
copy paste i landing pool smart contract codes just go here and copy paste it <coughs> it's as easy as copy and pasting it copy and paste it let me let me tell you many expert flash loan or flash expert coders are not able to execute flash loans so you know how hard it is but many people are actually searching for it so it's better you noobs actually try it and then you will know whether if it works or not copy and paste it withdrawable not soul uh, okay now what you have to do is you have to compile it compile everything you have to compile this so go to 0 0.66 0 0.66 commit fine for it 6.66 okay then look at the advanced solidity or not and then just compile flash loan okay flash loan see if there is anything blank then obviously make sure you are copying pasting it I made a mistake I copy and pasted it in withdrawable it's all right it's all right it happens because this selection of tabs sometimes you may select the wrong tab for copy pasting the codes at wrong so don't mismatch it copy paste it all right things all right now copy and compile now see if there is any unused function parameter remove by call okay it doesn't matter you have to deselect these params it's all right so just do it and then compile flash loans you see now the flash loan is compiled so if it shows green here at it means flash loan has compiled every of the smart contracts now all you have to do is you have to deploy here so let's follow the next step I've already shown you the first step what you have to do now what you have to do is go to faucets you have to add funds to your metamax wallet remember to have metamax wallet and obviously obviously you must have funds to your metamax wallet too which is you'll be getting it for free so remember to get the id of kova network you'll be you'll be you'll have to get connected to kova network so as you'll have to stay connected to ethereum kova test network i'll give you the id too but it's easy as the id of kova network will be mentioned in chain link faucets too so make sure you have connected your metamax here to your wallet address obviously it will get automatically connected so if you're confused just get your metamax wallet address from here account one obviously it will be here your wallet address will be written here then copy paste it after copy pasting it what you have to do is select dot one eth test eth with me which means you'll be receiving point one test eth this is tested this is not real eth okay you'll be receiving point one test ethernet so this is unlimited so you can get as many test eth if you want but it won't be valuable in real market because this is just test eth so verify yourself and then click on images containing dogs or any verification that comes out after that just click on next click on dogs and then click on verify after you have verified yourself click on send request you'll be seeing here you will receive testnet ethereum so you can see here it will be waiting for confirmation after all it's a blockchain that's why waiting for confirmation will take time you just wait for the confirmation you'll be able to see that you will receive testnet tokens of eth so the network is slow you can see here as request has been completed i have received 0.3958 eth 
which means I actually received 0.1 ETH, rest was just added from my 0.2 ETH. Now, what you have to do is, it's easy, you have to deploy the smart contract. So after getting your wallet ETH, what you have to do is, compilation is already done. After compiling, what you have to do is, you have to deploy your smart contract. How you do it? Just deploy and run the contract and click on injected web tree so here it is this is the most updated one that's why you're in luck that i'm showing you go to deploy <coughs> now what you do is select your environment you see where is injected web tree master right this is the one injected provider metamask you select this injected web tree it's the same so select on injected provider obviously your wallet address is automatically integrated after that what you do is select the contract in here what it is written flash loan so you'll have to deploy the flash loan dot soul smart contract click on flash loan dot soul smart contract and then select this address i'll give be giving you the address it's not too complicated everything is just copy and paste it so before deploying just copy paste it that's it and then nothing to be seen here everything is all right flash loan contract then deploy you'll just have to deploy and wait for the smart contract to get deployed into the ethereum test network so obviously they'll be asking for some gas fees amount click on confirm after confirm wait for the confirmation obviously it will take time as it is ethereum you know it's only 12 transactions per second so if it is confirmed which means you have successfully deployed the smart contract into the ethereum test network blockchain so next what you have to do is it's very easy right now you'll just have to deploy the funds so how will you deploy it it's very easy just staging .ave. You have to go to the test net network test network of Aave. You can see here you have to connect your wallet, MetaMax wallet. Obviously, Ethereum Core One will be connected. So this is the most newest process I've shown you. So what you do is you just have to you just have to borrow some funds. Depends what you borrow. So you can borrow Dai or else you can borrow TUSD or USDC. So let's look at the step where it is, what we have to do. Connect to MetaMax wallet done. We have to get connect to Ethereum Co1 network done because obviously it will be shown K. So here it is shown K here. And supply some ETH to Aave. We have to supply with supply button under the assets of supply. We have to supply ETH and then borrow some DAI. We'll have to borrow some DAI. And then MetaMax wallet should open up and the die will show up in your wallet once the transaction is complete if this is the first time obviously you will need to import tokens obviously it can be done easily and then you you'll just have to enter the die contract address okay so you'll have to enter the wallet address of those token that you are going to borrow so once you have die inside your wallet send 10 die to your deployed smart contract and then obviously how you can do is now what you have to do is just deploy the smart contract for your Aave you'll have to borrow you have to supply some ETH then you'll have to borrow all right so how you can borrow and let's see go here you have to supply ETH assets to supply see supply ETH say for example you want to supply 0.0, .0 one ETH supply some ETH okay for example if you want to supply 0.1 ETH that is 164 dollars okay supply the ETH and then when ETH is supplied supply it see here MetaMask confirmation will come wait for the confirmation and then confirm click on confirm 
sometimes it might take time okay so make sure you have the ETH supplied wait for it transaction confirmed assets okay ETH supplied okay then okay close then what you have to do is you have to borrow some tokens for example if you want to borrow die you have to just borrow it and then say for example 164 right 165 dollar of die not network so wait for it obviously these things take time for a little while boring factor takes time if there was some error click again borrow keep playing with it see after that just borrow some die wait for it confirm click confirm again wait for it wait for it transactions confirmed obviously c100 has been added to the wallet now what you do is you'll just have to execute those flash loans see it has been supplied now what you do is you just have to launch the final smart contract see supply borrow you are and all you are doing is just converting ETH to borrow ETH to die and then again die to ETH that's it after that you can obviously import tokens if you don't have die you know just import the tokens for example if you want to import tokens and then just click here import tokens select the contract address of the token you want die or symbol selected from ethereum address obviously and then just supply the eth see die token address is here itself so as i have already die don't worry once die is inside your wallet see send 10 die to your deployed contract you can send it deployed contract address by copying right copy pasting from remix so what you have to do is we have to send 10 die so select it from deployed contracts get the address from deployed contract address we have to send it to the address whichever the contract has given to us from the deployed contract address so this is it this is the deployed contract address copy it then we'll be sending our die to that wallet address so especially this is wallet address as you'll be executing the flash from smart contract you'll be executing an RV chain so what you have to do is just execute it right we have to execute the flash on smart contract we have to send it to die just click on metamask we just have to click on send select the wallet address and then click on die as you let me have to sending ten dollars of die say let's say thirty dollars of die click on next and then click on confirm wait for it transaction has been confirmed now what you have to do is as die has been sent to that address for the flash smart contract to be executed now all you have to do is execute the final smart contract 
Now we need to call the RVS flash and call die contract to indicate what asset will be using in order to execute the smart contract. We have to go back to flash loan ID of remix ID and then click on deploy and run transactions tab and then under deployed contract under deployed contracts tab you will see your flash loan smart contract address which I have already shown you and then from here go to the text field address asset okay in that address asset which is here click on this deployed contract you can see here so many things are here what you have to do is just select the address given here so enter this contract address then click on flash loan so this will execute the flash loan so this address asset this is the address of Ave. so as will be executing the flash loan on Ave, and this is all about Ave. that is why we'll be executing our smart contract on Ave. copy paste it and then after that click on flash loan we'll have to click on flash loan button you see the final thing we just have to click on flash loan and then the transaction will get started ready for the final thing click on flash loan and then it will go in a major transaction mode see click on confirm you can borrow as many die if you want it all depends upon how much flash loan you want to execute it's pending see transactions confirmed flash loan okay transaction has been confirmed you can check the transaction occurring in the testnet see it will be redirected to a transaction network which is in Kovan's test network itself you can see here the transactions has been recorded if die so most probably I don't think it was a successful flash loan but yes it did get executed it was a successful flash loan in a way that it does get executed see here this works so all you have to do is from this Kovan network in next video just follow this video look at this video many times as possible if you want more shortened version i'll show you but this detailed version you need it this is the newest version of flash launch smart contract just keep on practicing with it and then after this after this then you get your hands dirty on the main net network which is you just have to switch from Kovan to Ethereum mainnet that's it you'll be redirected to Aave flash loan address mainnet address from there you'll be able to supply DAI tokens ETH and all that is it I'll be giving you how to do it on mainnet too obviously but in mainnet you'll have to use real tokens you know real tokens which means these faucets will go away which means you will need to have real ETH and DAI in your metamask wallet so that you can pay for the transaction fees of the flash loan smart contract and then after that obviously you'll have to borrow smart the stable coins or eth or any it erc20 coins from ave and then you have to execute your flash loan see borrow 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 but before reaching to this borrow stage you will have to obviously have funds to execute the flash loan smart contracts right for the transaction fees you'll have to pay eth right that is why you'll have to pay eth rest it's all good if you borrow it if you borrow it from ave see you just have to supply eth supply eth which means that you'll have to supply eth from your own money these are your phone funds that ETH are your funds but borrow Aave will be giving you those DAI and then you have to change your ETH to DAI then DAI to ETH which happens in this smart contract that you have seen that is all
rest everything will remain same i'll show you in this upcoming video but this is for all the noobs and obviously for the people who want to get their hands dirty into flash room smart contracts obviously i've been searching for the right website to show the right procedure and this is it i'll give the link to you so tell me if any things have cleared or not it's just a matter of copy pasting it and obviously copying pasting the codes at the right smart contract remember smart contract names are also very case sensitive so you'll have to do it very carefully not make any mistake in just any copying pasting don't make mistake in copying pasting the codes that's all you'll be able to execute flash loan keep on practicing this 10 times 100 times after that when you get hang of it then move to mainnet that's it tell me what do you think about this video flash loan smart contract you know doing it on testnet if you have found this helpful leave your feedback leave your comment i'll be happy to help you all till then subscribe to virtual cryptic